Okay, so we ended up with the fuming machinery. Curious piece. So we have water. We technically have the planks too to tear it down. We don't have... We could use some wildfire essence. So this is curious piece of improvised technology. It extracts moisture from the soil around it and converts it into clearance water. It counts as four decorations. This looks like a teardown to me. Ideally, we want to solve right. I mean, we could... We could certainly spend three wildfire essence on it. More freaking farmland. We have unlimited farmland. Is the clearance water really worth it since we have a clearance water geyser? Like, we could just we could just do the second automaton. Okay, that's that was my thought. Okay, and then uh, do we want to use something other than planks? Planks are a rel relatively important resource, so I'm gonna do that and that, and let's. Let's get cracking on that immediately. Doesn't seem like there's a, a negative associated with it. So maybe we can wait. Unstable and we'll release a small discharge before the main explosion. Okay, so that's only if, if it fires off. Alright, so we'll do that and I'm going to pull to... Two of you guys who are doing lumber stuff to come down here and get started on this. Now, now that we know, we do also have a sea marrow deposit. That's exciting. So I, th okay, here's what I think. I think given what we found here, we build, we build a warehouse like here. And we use the warehouse to service this farm. We build an expansion down here. And we also put the warehouse near the sea marrow. Let's see, that's gonna be in the way there. So we are gonna do this. There we go, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna put... Maybe we put the warehouse right here though. Yeah, I think that's what we do. I think we move we move this, we're going to put the warehouse here, and I'm going to put the uh, the hearth that we're going to build. So let's get this, this mapped out. I'm going to put the hearth here. I'm going to put the warehouse here. So it really services this. I'm going to move this down here. Maybe I move the hearth. The hearth might be slightly awkwardly positioned for me getting... Yeah, this doesn't need to be right exactly here. Let's get this as adjacent as it can be. I'm going to chop out this just so we can get our road going down through. And then I think we can let one of those go so that we can build our hearth. Right here. Very cool. Maybe I'm rethinking this this warehouse placement because if I put the warehouse down here, I think it's slightly better. Because it can service this uh, this patch too, and then I think. The hearth I want to move as well. After we get the fuming machinery done, 
which I did start, right? Yeah, after we get the fuming machinery done, then, then we can put the hearth over here. I don't think we need to, to hustle on the hearth that badly. We have no builders, though. Hold on. Uh, for now, what's our wood supply look like? 28? That doesn't feel great. Is it distillery? The distillery is making porridge. Ah, I forgot to turn off raw, raw food. Let's do that for the moment. Let them eat porridge. This obelisk is taking forever. It's almost done, though. This forager camp, these harpies can definitely get replaced. Now here's a question. These guys are now... These guys are now going to rest, and they're going to be collecting stuff. They're only fast at solving, so I think we swap this to them to free up the... Free up foxes. What did I need foxes for? Yeah, and then we'll leave the we'll leave the builders free because I want to get this warehouse built. ASAP. That's our like primary concern. Yeah, so they can do this work. The The amount of farmland that we have uncovered here is just completely overwhelming. Okay, we almost got this ready to go. A little bummed we didn't. But I think... Who do we have free right now? Let me get someone working on this. Actually, that's a bad idea. Let's let's keep two builders. I want to get this. I want to get this warehouse made, and then we'll start mining the sea marrow. How's the machinery progress? We're at twenty of thirty. Ideally, put a worker into the geyser. All right. We'll do that. I'm a little. I really want this this warehouse to get built. Please tell me you're building this. There we go. All right, good. All right, we got 30 of 30 clearance water, so we're good on clearance water. We just need to start doing the thing. So I think we can take this fox out of here, right? I think we have, I think we're doing just fine on clearance water. What else is getting built right now? Let's see, so this is gonna be gonna be like that okay so this is being worked on that'll be done as soon as possible this guy we finished we finished the trees here Let's put this here and just queue up another set of big trees so that we're not forcing anything. Let's get two harpies here because they're done with that and they can start working on the ancient marrow. And as soon as we start to have a marrow supply, in fact, we have a little bit of marrow already. So let me turn off wood so that hopefully we, well, we could leave wood on, but let's just amp marrow up. So we're using marrow above other things.
packs. Let's see. So, okay. So we're going to need packs, which Heart of Amber we're going to do really well with. Yep. It's it's on the list. I, I said as soon as the fuming machinery is done, I'm going to put a hearth here. I, uh, I want to wait just for positioning purposes because I want to put it down here. That is that is part of the plan. And maybe I'm I'm slowing down our progress by doing that, but that was the that's the thinking. Let's see, we got another obelisk up here that we do want to tear down. Yeah, actually good resources in this one. The the wood requirement here is a little blah. See, this is one of those situations where I'm looking at it, and if we went if we went with the make an offering, since we do have the incense. Wouldn't that take us down to one hostility, which would turn off swarms? Yeah, I, I was thinking we might be, we might open, do we have four caches available? We've got one here. We just haven't found four caches. So I think, I think it is packs. I guess I should get a provisioner built. Or post, excuse me. So it's crops, provisions, and building materials. No trade goods. Now let's see. If this is going to be... Where is... So the hearth is going to be here, which means that the path that we're going to eventually want is going to be well aligned with the left edge of that. I don't think we want to use wood for this. I think we'll use copper. I'm really tempted to to get a mine going. It's just a little expensive. Oh yeah, actually, oh there's copper down here, so I don't need to do that. Good. Good point. We, we're just, we need more beavers. So this, the fuming machinery is going to slightly spill over in, into the storm. I don't think it's the end of the world, but we have five harpies. I probably should build some harpy specific housing. Let's build it. Let's build it down here. Oh, did I just block my? Did that mine position just block my hearth position? No, it didn't. Okay, and then I can put I can put harpy houses down along here. didn't work. I need to make sure that fits, but that's going to be like that. In fact, I can go over one more. Yeah, it's, it's fine that it's slipping in. It's just, you know, it was not my original plan. I wanted this to get done so I could get that second hearth up. This this large worm tongue nest, I think I'm going to destroy. It's just really in the way. Malady. Twice as much food during breaks. Rests 50% longer rests. What's our porridge supply look like? We only have 13 porridge. We may need to we may need to turn on raw consumption again. may 
also want to build a beaver house. We don't have any homeless at the moment. But I'm not sure what I can do. I think we're going to lose some harpies. So the question really becomes, can I build a beaver house to stave off beaver sadness? I also just realized all we needed to do was build decorations. That's, that's something we should do up here for sure. I, sh I should have done this sooner, but... We probably won't do this in time. Come on, fuming machinery. Get out of my freaking way. I think it's still a good idea to invest in, though. Right? Obviously, we won't get this done quite in time, but... We can also make the beavers happier by moving them from wood chopping into the mine, right? Because they crave the mine, much like children. Where? Come on. Finish this up, please. I think I can do that and that. And that'll that'll even things out. Having the hearth here would have sped this up quite a bit. Beavers yearn for the mine. Exactly like children. What a what a weird coincidence. What a weird coincidence. Alright, everything's fully plowed up there. <laughs> Chris. Truer words, right? Yeah, we're just going to lose a harpy. It is what it is. Uh, that means the second harpy house shouldn't get built, though. Because we're going to have exactly enough harpy housing. Okay. The steaming pile of machinery has left the building. There we go. And then... We need at least a park. Leave space for a house, then park here. Nope, can't put a park there. Let me put that there, I guess. Okay, Harpy Lumber Mill is, is axed. He's got a woodcutter here and a woodcutter there. Okay, that's fine. But now everybody's stabilized because of impatience. We may want to get our next blueprint. We've got enough of that. We've got enough bricks. We've got enough wildfire essence. So this should get built pretty quickly. What are we getting this time? No beavers. I'm getting... I'm going to take all the foxes I can get, I think. We can probably... This forager's camp probably isn't doing us much good. What's our, what's our food supply looking like? It's a little bit in the danger zone. We need to find ourselves some drizzle water if we're going to do rain punk stuff. With that, which we've had pretty bad geyser luck. I think I'm going to move this here and I'm just going to crack into this glade just on the off chance that we got like a drizzle opportunity. Okay, hearth is up and operational. We can put someone that we have a lot of available there. Now, did that mess up what we had going on here? Oh, 
Oh yeah, we have level, oh, we have level three now. What the heck does level three do? Town is booming with activity and industry thrives. Workers have 10% higher chance of producing double yields. Ancient hearth resistance to corruption is increased. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll open another dangerous glade. This is just such a central glade that I'd like to get it cracked open. Just to see. Okay, we're building the park, but we, we need more people, which we'll have shortly. I should probably build one large shelter down here as well. Yeah, we, we have the lumber for it, and we're going to be having an influx of people shortly. So I'm fine with that. Though not enough people to, to do that. But I, I think cracking into this is a good idea. Which, uh, which dangerous glade do we want to go into next? That one seems too far removed. This one seems this one seems pretty central to what to the stuff that we're doing right now. Good to know, Patrick. Good to know. Yeah, I I have never uh, never dabbled in in the level three ones, obviously. Okay. Storms over shortly, then we'll bring in our newcomers. I might also uh, turn in this exploration one. We're not getting much out of maybe not maybe we're not getting much out of that that we care about. Like there's no production boon associated with it. Okay. We live to fight another day. Export specialization again. Or 50% the amount of herbs produced in herb gardens. Holy cow. Alright. Got some tough choices here. Export specialization is is stacking up an insane amount of production as we get it going advanced herbalism though we have three herb gardens already going one i guess we only have two but this one's going to be our third one very short very shortly here what are, what are we doing here have a kiln or have a bathhouse? The crate of sea marrow here is kind of nice, but the chances of us having a kiln are pretty low. Yeah, it's more likely we get the service building. So I'll grab that. And then beavers pogging out of their mine or farm fields. It's clearly farm fields. We get eight gears for that, which is pretty nice. Okay, let's make sure we bring in our new people. Yeah, more export specialization seems good. Once we get that popping off, it's going to pop off really hard. We haven't put anyone in here, but we should probably get some people going on this. Oh, you can't make packs of crops with herbs? Maybe we should diversify and get some roots going. I was doing all herbs, but if we want packs of crops, we're going to need some of those. And then this one's a little tricky. Because the only place where we get the whole utilization is here. Maybe we do dig that out. Where's our other lumber mill? Might as well, might as well make it. Oh, that was, that wasn't it. You have root production from the herbalist camp. From the herbalist camp. The herbalist camp? I didn't make an herbalist camp, nor did I take that upgrade, I don't believe. So I don't. I only have the small from the foragers camp. All right, so we'll stick, we'll stick with this then. We, we currently don't have anyone working in here.
Let's see. So, so yeah, so we'll take out those two with our with our choppy chop. More sea marrow. And drizzle water. All right. So we got we got the hookup on drizzle water that I was looking for. So now we can rain punk our our goodies. We have one beaver in the mines. Yep, we got we got the hookup on that. We'll put the priority higher on the big one here because we get more yields. Let's see. So you've you've done your work. I my thought is We can still crack into one of these. I think we're better off with this one. Let's do paths like that. Okay. Okay, let's get this upgraded. There we go. So now we got drizzle water, and I'm gonna. St that means I can rain punk this once we get pipes. I turned off pipes. We have we have no source of pipes right now because we don't have what's uh what's the basic building that converts copper into copper bars? Is there a basic building that does that? Certainly an interesting question. Got it. All right, well, okay, so we can buy some pipes. We'll buy four pipes. We have plenty of most of the basic materials. I'd like some bricks. And then since we're buying pipes, I'll sell I'll sell the copper ore. Well, maybe we keep the copper ore because we can we can start to build roads with it. We really don't have a lot else to sell though. We Yeah, actually. Yeah, marrow is is pretty valuable, it's true. And then what do we have down here? Oh, we do have the kiln. Did we take the No, we took the one that was the bathhouse. Okay. We'll we'll do this trade. So that gets us that gets us what we need to get this rain punked. That'll be good for business. And I think this will be our, our last herb garden for a while. I'm trying to decide if getting the blueprint from this exploration is probably a good idea. Although maybe we should let our impatience climb so that the next storm isn't too catastrophic. Oh, is this is this a big tree? No, this is a regular abyssal tree. Okay, so the packs are starting to come online. We did get someone working roots again. We'll get another person working roots. Yes. Also, save the order turn-ins uh, for the level 2 seal order. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Uh, I will still... So, let's see. We need crops, provisions, and building materials. And we need 12 of each. So, I'm just... I am going to put... Like, we're going to put... A, we're going to put 30 on that, but we'll go 12 and 12 here. I don't want to go too crazy on those. Okay. Fishmen. We can bribe them, but we're too broke. 
or we can chase them away. Training into a fishman in cavern triggers hidden traps. A fishman totem spawns every 60 seconds and is only active in the corresponding glade event. It's not great. We do have a lot of stone. So we can, I think we're going to chase them away. But we're going to do it after the storm. What the heck do we have here? A haunted temple. Ideally, you bribe them to get the tablets. Uh, we, do we still have our trader here? I don't think we have a food source that we can use for the bribe. She isn't selling any ale or anything. Is she? Oh, she is. So if we wanted to get 30 ale... We can sell the, the packs that we've made. And a bit of marrow. This is our main fuel source, so I want to be a little careful. Maybe we do that. That looks pretty good. So now we can bribe them with ale. And now do we, this is this is a five minute timer. I think we I think we have to hold off. We can we can do the bribe. Oh, I don't have 15 amber. I see. 15 amber is a lot. I don't think there's any way we're going to be able to get up to 15 amber, is there? Uh, let's see. Which order gives amber? Uh, six trade routes. We might be able to start going quick on that, but that's the only one. We could start doing some rapid fire, really small trade routes and see if we can get there. Do you really have no clay? So let's see. So what else can we buy from here to make it more likely? All right, let's just let's just get this one going because seven meat. I don't mind parting with seven meat. And we're just doing little ones because we just want to power through that. So we'll be doing that during the storm. Is there anything else, though, that you are selling that our current trade routes demand? So we could get a second one going. Like, do you have any wheat or barrels? No. I don't see anything else here that, that we can currently finish, so we're going to have to wait for the next cycle. And then this haunted bathhouse... Minus three global resolve every 45 seconds is only active when the corresponding glade event is active. It seems like it's probably worth cleansing that. What about the caches? We don't have the tools. Oh, we could have gotten our ale here, though. And that's this is the only cache we have. I believe. Yeah, that's the only cache. We do have another obelisk to work, but that's it. Okay, so we can get our... One more in the cave glade. Oh yeah, I haven't checked that one yet. Good, good call.
Gears, wheat, and skewers. Well, we could use the skewers for bribing them. Certainly. But again, not going to help us with trade routes, is it? Oh, wheat. Wheat helps the trade routes. Okay, let's get this cracking. I do need to free up some workers, though, to, to balance that out so that we still, we're still building stuff. Okay. This Fishman Cave is going to be a bit of a problem, though. And I don't know if this trade route for wheat is still going to be here by the time we get wheat out of that cache. I suspect it may not. No homeless. You're still at two of eight. Does that mean that this one is overpopulated? What is, uh, what's the requirement for level two? Because it's not showing me the requirement for level two. But we have too many people up here. I know it's not 17. So let's Okay, we're getting our first wheat delivery. So hopefully we can send out that trade route ASAP. There we go. Get the wheat sent. Goods received. Five of those. What's that from? Level two is 14 people. Thank you. So we're still two above. We're not quite... We're still not quite here, but at least we're, we're moving in that direction. This bribe is very expensive. What are we getting out of it? We're getting the ancient tablets out of it. But we have another trade route we can do here. Packs of crops. Yeah, send it. We need this to go quickly, so. You get you get packs from completed trouds, trou trade routes in the drizzle. Ah, uh, good to know. Gosh, we are so starved on people. I don't I don't think we can even take anybody out of anything. How are we doing on roots? Yeah, we're using them as fast as we're getting them. Now, did our trade routes just reroll? Okay, we need packs of provisions. Can you do provisions next time, please. I want to put people over here, but I don't really... The building that we're doing isn't that important. So I'll do that. For now, we don't really need a woodcutter here. So I'll move this like up here somewhere. That last two farmland isn't going to get done. That's okay though. Okay, you're working on provisions. That's good. Five will get us through a few more trade routes. Do we really not, not want to do the open caches are sent and save the packs? The packs seem really expensive.
No worries in Lustrous. I think I may I may switch to doing Heart of the Forest. I, I don't think Pax is a good idea. We need to save our Pax. Because I think we have to deliver those. Let me double check that. Yeah, delivery is too expensive, I think. So we need to find one more cache then. If I had more people, I'd definitely do I definitely do this. But we're we're a little lacking. Oh, they're idle because this is not this is not plowing season. So let's get them freed up. We have two minutes and twenty. How long does this take? A minute and thirty. I'd love to free up one person, just so we have a builder. Okay, we need to make sure that we're staying on top of this. Sell that. Pretty unfavorable trade routes. What do we have for money right now? We have eight amber of the 15 that we need. All right, we're getting there on, on quick trade routes. If I had been a little more judicious in where I applied trade routes, we might have been better off. We're chopping our way through here. We're hoping hoping to find a cache in here. That would be good. What about blueprints? We are getting this is a haunted temple, correct? Yeah. So we're going to we're going to be getting a temple, so we don't need a temple. We can't afford to spend money right now. Forester's hut is kind of interesting. Who needs clothing of this crew? We have two clothing needs too. So the it could be artisan, it could be forester hut. I don't think we're I don't think we need to do either because we don't have the people to do any of this stuff. Okay, another drizzle water geyser. Firekeeper's letters. In exchange for knowledge between firekeepers uh, can be very beneficial. The maximum number of sacrifice stacks in the ancient hearth is increased by one. Nah. Heavy press is interesting. Scouts can open is, is interesting. But I think what we really want to do here is... We're not going to be able to do the fishman until after, so we're not in a huge rush, but I think... I think we just do something like that. We don't technically need the mushrooms. Or the resin right now. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a big a big swing in terms of in terms of trading. We're still not gonna start on the fishmen right now. We're gonna we're gonna wait. But at least we have the money moving forward. Didn't see anything else in here that was too transformative. So now we'll just chill. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, the Forester's Hut feels like a pretty good setup. Get ourselves some crystallized dew. But we'll hold up. And then... Pipes are still a big problem. Did you have pipes? 
Warrior. No. Just checking. Yeah, so we didn't get our ancient we didn't get our cash. This is gonna be a little spicy. With the longer storm, the storm's gonna be four minutes. This takes five minutes. We we may not have we may not have had the capacity to wait on this that I thought we did. Guess we'll we'll wait and see. Ooh, the big marrow is down. We don't love that. Did we find more marrow up here? I don't think we did. Yeah, no. Okay, during the storm, we'll need to get someone else working in there. This marrow went way faster than expected, but... Plague of Darkness. The storm season is 100% longer, and sacrificing goods at the ancient hearth is banned. <laughs> uh, that's pretty bad timing, I would say. would say that's not ideal. All of our harpies are housed. I think that means more harpies are dying. I don't think there's a lot we can do. I was kind of hoping this is going to be done sooner. Okay, we did want to get people on this. Is there is there anything that makes ha harpies happy? No, that would be anything like uh, maintenance-wise. All right, so I don't, I don't think there's much we can do for the harpies here. And with only two beavers, I don't really want to lose a beaver here. Forester's hut is looking very tempting right now. Yeah, it'll get us some dew, which I think we can use to make. We, we have so much farmland, we need to start leveraging it. I'm trying to think if there's anything we can do to... So this is level 2 at 14. There's no way... If we get more people... We could potentially get this hut upgraded. But yeah, I think we're I think we're gonna lose a harpy. Is there anything? All of our harpies are housed, and they are housed in their preferred housing type. Hmm.
I'd like to get that second drizzle water going, but I think... I think the harpies are just SOL. So are there any more small ones that we can crack into? I guess technically down here. I don't think... I think we end up losing a beaver if we do this. And right now I'm like dying for beavers. There's part of me that's wondering if we took more newcomers and filled this out with everything being upgraded over here, if we might be able to pull out, but not before a harpy dies, I think, is the short version. Okay, our porridge supply is looking real nice now. Rip Harpy. Lost a stone cutter, that's no no surprise. It's gotta be this one. The the balance that they've been giving us has been horrifically bad. So fog marsh just needs to just needs two amber to get leveled up. So we'll grab that one. 